All right, so I wanted to share with you in this video what I'm going to do with Alibaba. So I bought Alibaba gradually. I have a total of 100 shares. My average price, as you can see here, is 181. Right now, Alibaba is trading at 119. But with my covered calls, by selling calls on Alibaba, uh, my cost basis, so my cost basis on Alibaba is 163.21. That's my cost basis. So what I did uh, before this last trade here is I sold a covered call uh, all the way to January 2024. Let me just filter on Baba if I could see it. Yeah, okay. So I, I rolled my covered call. I had, a, I had a December 17, 2021, 175 covered call. I rolled it to January 2024 just to collect as much credit as possible. Because of fear of delisting, I wanted to collect as much credit as possible from uh, from the covered call to lower my cost basis. I sold it for $19. Uh, and then Baba continued to drop. And then I decided to do something different, which is a bit riskier. But it bothered me that I'm only collecting $19 in two years on, on about $100 and 175 or yeah, $175 of capital. So that gives me a return of, of uh, 19 divided by 175. That's a 10% return in two years. So that's 5% per year. So that bothered me uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for Alibaba. So I decided to close the covered call that I sold for $19 in January, 2024. And as you can see here, I closed it for $16. So actually it gave me a $3 profit by doing this trade. And then today, when Alibaba went up uh, 6%, I think, look at Alibaba, it's up 7%, wow, okay. Uh, I'm, I, I decided to sell weekly out of the money covered calls on Green Day. So it's a little bit risky, but it increases my chance of, of uh, cause now I'm selling a 131 call, right? Which is below my cost basis. My cost basis is 163. So the risk is if Alibaba continues to go up and surpasses my 131 strike, then technically I'm gonna lose my shares at 131. My cost basis is 167 or 163. So basically I'm gonna lose 163 minus 131 times 100. So almost $3,000 if that happens. But I have no other choice because if I sell, if I sell a, a call at my cost basis, let's say I go to February, and I sell a 165 call or a 170 call, I'm not gonna get anything. There's not gonna be a lot of premiums if I go to the 175, see 31 cents. I'm not gonna sell 31 cents for two months, right? Or even 40 cents or even 165 for 50 cents for 165. So what I did instead is I'm gonna sell weekly out of the money, short term. So because it's short term, so there's less chance that the stock goes from 119 to 130 by next week. So I chose I chose the January 7th expire, so eight days. So it's very possible for Baba to go from 119 to 131 by next Friday, but yeah, man, it keeps going up 120. So the idea is I, I did this during March and April on IWM and it worked very well. It didn't work well on triple Qs because the trip, because not, the queues just they just flew and I couldn't catch up to it and I ended up losing my shares on the queues uh, lower than my cost basis but on IWM it worked very well uh, so I'm gonna try it again on Alibaba I sold the 130 if I could do 50 cents per week for example while the stock recovers I mean 50 cents divided by let's say my cost basis is 163 that's 0 0.03, right, times 52. So that's an annual return of 15% instead of an annual return of 5% while uh, hopefully Alibaba recovers. So that's what I did today. I sold the um, the 131. I sold the 131 for 50 cents. And as you can see, it wasn't a good entry because it's already worth uh, 79 cents. And I think the high of the day was 81 cents. But I still got five days to go or six six business days to go. And as long as it stays 131, then this expires worth this. And then I'll do it again for the week after selling an out of the money call. And let's say Alibaba does end up at like 135 by next Friday. I'm gonna have to roll it. I'm gonna have to roll the call. And here's what it looks like rolling the call. So I'm gonna simulate rolling the call. 
So as if I had sold something for December 31st expired, which is tomorrow. So I'm gonna choose December 31st. And let's say I had sold the 115 call, right? So I'm four, in, in the simulation, I'm four points in the money and my cost basis is 163. So I don't wanna lose my shares at 115 because I'll lose uh, 163 minus 115 times 100. So I need to roll this call. So here's what it would look like if I try to roll it. So I would have to buy back the initial call that I sold, which is December 31st, for example. And then let's say I try to go to next week. Can I bring it up to 120 for a credit? No, I can't. See, that's the problem. So now I would have to go to a further expire. Um, let's say January 14, can't do it for a credit. January 21st, I could do it for a credit. But now it's already at 120. So that's the risk with with the rolling calls. It's going to be hard once it's in the money. Once it's breached, it's hard to roll the call to a to a higher strike and re re to remain out of the money. So that's the risk, especially that your cost basis is much higher. My cost basis is one sixty three. Uh, so what I'll have to do in this case, uh, hopefully it doesn't happen, is I'm going to have to I'm going to have to pick my my uh, cost basis, so one sixty five, let's say. And I'm just going to have to go very far. So let's say March. Still can't do it for a credit. Let's say June. Still can't do it for a credit. So it's, it's terrible efficiency of capital. But what are you going to do? And then September. So I, if this were the case, this is what I would do. I would try to roll to my cost basis and then just go as far as I have to. So I can roll for a credit. And it sucks because that means all this capital is held up just for me to make a $1 profit. That's the problem. So it's really not capital efficient. Another, another thing I could do is I could just keep rolling for debits and hope that every week when I'm rolling, hope that there are more weeks where I roll for credits than I roll for debits. And the overall weeks give me a credit. But if a stock goes up fast, you usually can't catch up to it. So that's the problem. But so let's say I had, but that's the thing. That's why I would sell on a green day to give myself a good chance of remaining out of the money at expiry. So I sold a call, a weekly call today when the stock went up 7%. It allowed me to go all the way to 131. So I'm still 11 points away for next week. So it, I, I'm, I gave myself a good chance, but anything's possible for sure. But that's all I could do is give myself a good chance and try to collect enough credits to, to bring until until the, until the stock drops and I can reduce my cost basis. But I mean, the other option would have been to, like I showed you, would have been to just sell at 175 and and then I would have to go to February, let's say, and then I sell the 175, uh, 175 call, which is which is what I initially started at. I, my my cost my 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 initial purchase was 181, but with all the calls that I received, I brought my cost basis down to 163. But uh, yeah, so I could have sold a 175 call for 32 cents, but I don't know if it's really worth it. 32 cents for for uh, six for two months, you know. At least at least my at least it's a safe strike. But if if Baba stays below 175, then I only made 32 cents. Uh, divided by a cost basis of 163 in, in six months. So I made this in two months, sorry. So times six, that's 1.1% a year. So my selling the January 2024 would have been a better return, which is 5% per year. So it's like a dividend really. But uh, I'm not, I didn't buy Baba to make 5% per year. That's the problem. So I think I'd rather go with this out of the money weekly covered calls on Alibaba. Uh, but only sell on green days to give myself a good chance that it stays out of the money by expiry. And if it does breach, then I'll just have to roll it and I'll see how I'll have to roll it. Either I'm going to roll further or maybe even roll for a debit. So rolling for a debit isn't always a bad thing because I'll give you an example. I've got PayPal here as a covered call. 175 covered call on PayPal, February 18. PayPal here, I've got a cost basis of, where's PayPal, PYPL, right over here. I've got a cost basis of 173.53. So if it stays above 175 by February 18, I'll make a 175 minus 173, so I'll make a dollar fifty profit. But what I could do with PayPal right now, if I'm confident that, I mean, PayPal's at 190, if I'm confident PayPal's coming back up and it'll stay up, I could roll the call. I could roll the call to 
to, I don't know, let's say 190 to February. I could roll it to February 18 to 190 and sell over here. As you can see, I'd be rolling for a debit of 9.95 of $10, right? But I just gave myself $15 of capital appreciation. 190 minus 175 is the difference between both strikes. So that's an extra $15 of capital appreciation that I can go get if I'm confident that PayPal stays above 190 by February 18. So if I'm very bullish on PayPal, I could roll for a debit and it wouldn't be such a big deal because I know I'd make I'd make a $5 profit. I'd make an extra $5 by rolling for this debit over here. So sometimes rolling for a debit as a cover call is not a bad thing. If you're uh, if you're confident you'll make it up through uh, capital uh, appreciation. But in this case, it's above my cost basis, so I don't care. I don't mind doing that. But in the case of Baba, it's below my cost basis, so I I, I kind of have I have to roll it to avoid losing uh, to avoid losing my shares below my cost basis. That's the risk here with Alibaba. Is I'm selling a call that's below my cost basis, and since you're selling a call, it means that if it's in the money at expiry, you lose your shares at that strike. So the strike needs to be at your cost basis at least. All right, just want to share with you what I would do with uh, Alibaba or what I'm doing with Alibaba right now. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. Like always, if you can open an account with Questrade to sell options, use my referral link below to get $50 in free commissions. Thanks for watching.